we're going to do a totem pole. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a big one. I've been sick a lot with COVID and stuff, so I kind of dropped the ball on carving. So now that I'm feeling better, trying to get back, trying to get healthier, we're going to make it work, hopefully. Like I said before, I'm just a wood carver. <laughs> so we're going to fuel this thing up. Like I said, I always start with the uh, fuel first. That's what runs it. And that way I know what I'm doing. You want to keep track of what you're doing. Okay. Let's see if we get this stable. Okay, now we put the oil in. You always uh, check your caps, make sure they're tight so you don't get a bath in oil. You know, it's funny, I bet you every wood carver that's ever carved has forgot to put the cap on and picked it up and poured oil everywhere uh, once or twice in their life. And I think I. Uh, Three times out of 30 some years of carving, I have put the oil in the gas and the gas in the oil. And that's a nice nightmare. But then you gotta flush the oil out. Gas is not so bad in the bar oil, but the oil and the gas is a big, big problem. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm carving an eagle. Then I'm doing a bear, and I'm gonna do a eagle head, a bear head, eagle head, and some trout. Then I'm doing a fox. Then I'm doing a turkey. And down here, I'm sort of doing some trout swimming through a creek. And then down here, I'm gonna have some bones or skeletons of fish where they've fallen and died. And the uh, story of the totem pole is as young men, we soar like the eagle. We come, become brave like the, the bear and cunning like the eagle. We become wise like the fox. Then we, um, I'm sorry, I gotta think about this. <laughs> we get old like the turkey, I know that. Here I am. <laughs> So, oh geez, okay. So, turkey is very smart and cunning. It can get away, it has to live on its wits and that. So, we come become like the turkey when we get old, we become wiser. Uh, we don't take so many chances. And then we kinda roam free like the trout and then we die. And hence, that's why I have the bones at the bottom. So it's supposed to tell a story. This is my story. Uh, I am part Shawnee, so I figure I can be a totem pole carver too. And I enjoy it. I enjoy making up the stories. And I will work on that, refine it a little bit more, write it down. And then when I get through with it, I'll present it to the person that I carved the totem pole for. And they'll have the story of the totem pole. Pump the bowl, put the choke on. I always step on it so it don't bounce up at me. I don't drop start them. It's dangerous. Put, put my foot in it, crank it. Pops one time, take the choke off.
done here is we blocked out the, the fish I left a ledge around there to put some bones on this is the back feathers of the turkey right here the heads here then there's a wing there and a wing here and then this is the back so I've got to do like a relief carving on top of it because I don't want to cut all the way into the turkey so now what I do is do the head, the beard, and then the neck part of the turkey. So I'm using a little saw to do this. Okay, I've got the feathers on the back of the turkey. I got the head, the neck, uh, what they call a waddle, I guess. This is a wing. And then the, the beard's going to go here and the feet here. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this cut out, and then we will work on up the bottom. <laughs>
Okay, here's all we're gonna do right now. We'll put this out for y'all to look at it tonight, kind of see what we're doing. Okay, it's been a pretty good long day, so we'll go back to work at this tomorrow. And then we got some others to do tomorrow. Probably gonna do a couple of bears, one sitting, one standing, and some bears climbing a tree tomorrow. So it's getting winter time, so I have to get as much may as I can to get me through the winter because it slows down really bad. So thanks again. I appreciate this. I'm just a wood carver.